Hi, I'm Andrew Michalik, a graduate student at UC Davis studying viticulture and enology. Today, I'd like to show you around the LEED Platinum Certified Teaching Winery and Experimental Vineyard. So let's get started. So the Department of Viticulture and Enology is a very special place. It holds the distinction of being the only department in the whole University of California system that was started by an act of the state legislature. And that was back in 1880 when the state already knew that grapes and wine were going to be important to its economy for the long term. Our graduates are in high demand from the industry. We always hear from them that they would like more of our students to do internships or get full-time jobs with their companies. And I think that what the industry sees from our students is they're trained technically better than any students from around the world. The Experimental Vineyard provides hands-on experience for students. Let's find out more. We manage our vineyards ourselves, so that allows a direct link between vineyard operations, teaching, and research. This vineyard is called Roro Mondavi Vineyard. Uh, our 11, 11 acres are split in five different locations as spots. Uh, those spots include varieties of the wall, rootstocks, table grapes, and grapes from, for winemaking, uh, a teaching block, and a production block. So I teach um, the spring viticultural practices class and having the vineyard is really critical for that class because the students are out here every week actually doing the hands-on management of the vines. They actually move through different trellising systems, they go through all of the canopy management practices and they get to see how those change over the spring. They work on training like the young vines. Like it's just an incredible resource where the students have done uh, actually kind of a, a short version of a growing season before they even go out kind of into their careers in the industry. We are doing this uh, vineyard more sustainable since we have been stopping using herbicides. So this is a free uh, herbicide vineyard since 2020. Uh, it was ch challenging but it is working well. My favorite part of the working in the vineyard is to transform the clusters in wines. So everything we are doing in a, in a, during the season uh, should be finished in a glass of wine. So I always wanted to make good wine. And what I realized here at UC Davis is that good wine starts in the vineyard. You can do whatever you want while you're in the winery, but if you don't have good fruit, you're not gonna have good wine. So the vineyard is great. There's tons of hands-on experience. I work in a lab under Dr. Forrest Stell, where I'm in the vineyard probably three days a week. I'm looking at all sorts of different varieties, 25 different, and I'm monitoring how they grow. So it really gives you a hands-on experience with how a vine grows that a textbook can't teach you. And the fact that it's a stone's throw away from the classroom is kind of what sets UC Davis apart. It's incredible for the students to have this experience before they go out in the industry. Um, they kind of know what that process uh, looks like. I, I mean, I think it's a great resource in that way. And also, it's just wonderful to be out in the vineyard. What a great thing to learn as an undergraduate. Welcome to one of my favorite places, the winery. Our winery was the first lead platinum winery in the USA. It's state of the art. So we can basically teach current and future winemakers in the best technologies available. For instance, we can showcase how you can lower your environmental footprint without impeding wine quality. So the different areas, we have our barrel room, we have a larger fermenters, which for the industry will be probably small, but it's large for us, is 540 gallons. Then we have our small fermentations, we call them TJ fermenters. Those are about 55 gallons. Those is, uh, we use them mainly for research. We also have a small bottling line to teach students how the main steps in bottling. We have different cold rooms. We have our fruit cellar and different temperature orders for uh, malolactic fermentation for smaller fermenters. So we have the beauty of having everything on wheels, which gives us the ability to move the furniture as the process goes. Another um, aspect of how unique we are is that we are very, I think, gifted to have the winery classroom right next to the winery. So students, we can do a little lecture and we can know what they have to do for the day, we plan over there. They come to the winery and also we have the vineyards right uh, here behind us. So that opportunity is great because you have everything in one site 
that integrates and makes the students to be really well prepared and very efficient as well. Students gain a lot from hands-on experience. You need practical experience to develop deeper understanding of the theory you learn just by book knowledge. You need that deeper understanding if you want to be able to make critical decisions in the field and in the winery. So in this winery I've had the opportunity to gain a lot of hands-on experience with from the basics from pruning, from uh, picking grapes, sanitation, how to set up a pump and I think all the day-to-day -day operations and I also got the opportunity to work in the lab and look at analysis and I think at this winery you, you learn everything and you get the opportunity to ask questions and just ask away I guess. My favorite part about working at the winery has been all the people that I've met. The staff and the other interns that I worked with feel like a second family and they made my first harvest experience awesome. I now feel like I have a community here and I know I'll stay in touch with them for the rest of my life. Let's take a look at the special collections room. The bottles in here fall into two categories, generally speaking. One is the wine which the department has made from its vineyard in Oakville and Davis, by the way. Uh, mostly Cabernet and a little Albarino. And the other bottles are all donated. Those bottles are all used largely for training students to learn how certain wines taste. So for instance, we have a 50-year-old Bordeaux wine, and our students have very little opportunity to learn how such a wine would taste. But it's very important for them to know what a 50-year-old Bordeaux tastes like. So we have a thermostat in here set at 57 degrees and humidity is controlled at about 80% to ensure that the wines age properly and that the corks don't dry out. In addition, this whole building was constructed with sustainability being a very high priority. So there's a lot of recycled content. For instance, in the floor, we have brown glass and the ceiling is actually salvaged redwood from a California gold mine aqueduct from the Sierras. And it makes the ceiling look like you're on the inside of a barrel. It's pretty cool. Thanks for joining me today. I trust you enjoyed your tour here at the Robert Mondavi Institute. To hear about our future programs that are educational and entertaining, please sign up for a newsletter at our website or follow us on social media. On behalf of the Institute, thanks for visiting.